Hello everybody, welcome to the first game of Season 5 of Blood Bowl Super League, the second one in Blood Bowl 3. No World Cup ticket on the line this time, but hopefully next year there'll be another World Championship and hopefully next year we'll get a ticket for each season, that'd be good wouldn't it? So that it's, it'd be like the premier competition in Blood Bowl, that's my dream because I think, you know, having the best players with even teams, uh, NAF style resurrection I think is the best format. And uh, yep, so let's have a look at this, we've got... Andy Davo, of course, everyone knows Andy Davo versus Crystal Hunter. I invited him last season. He declined because he he had dis he had he had uh, he had uninstalled Blood Bowl three and was definitely never going to play again. And then played about hundred games that month later. But uh, he's back in now, and uh, unfortunately he hasn't gone scave and he's gone he's gone with like the joke, the joke team of Imperial Nobility, um, you know. So. You know, it'll be interesting to see how he does, like, at least it takes the pressure off, doesn't it? You know, like, if he if he gets any results, he'll be quite happy with himself. Uh, he's gone five guard, which is okay, and then he's gone two stacks, which is alright, I guess, the, the, the double stack, um, dodge and tackle, and dodge and sure hands. I don't hate it, but um, it's not, not how I would have built them, but that's okay. But yeah, knobs, knobs are absolutely, definitely not OP, they are, in fact, rubbish, um, regardless of what Dimmy says. And what I say to humour him, they are terrible. Um, and then Devo won the toss and chose to kick. Um, as you see, four guard, uh, two block wolves, a block ghoul, and traded the extra skill for extra money to upgrade the 12th player from a zombie to a ghoul. And nearly exactly how I built my necro, except he went two block rather than a block and a wrestle. I quite like a block and a wrestle. I think I, think I like a block and a wrestle because... Like, in progression, I'd always take block, but obviously with these, you're up against dodges and stuff, and sometimes having wrestle is a bit better. Well, I mean, it's always a bit better, right, if you're, trying, if you're just trying to get somebody down. And, uh, like, versus dwarves and stuff, you don't get stuck on them as much and get hit back. So I, I, I do kind of like wrestle as a, uh, as a, as a you know, in, in this format specifically, but I would never take it in a, uh, in a progression situation. In the ball three, it's probably knobs. Knobs have never made the top hundred. Uh, it's obviously a bit different. Um, in the ball three, oh, Chunter's got the good dice here. Great choice by Chunter using the good dice. Though he is using them against Andy Davo, not so clever. So the, the, these dice, are, they're like amazing dice. But what you should do is you should not use them against Andy Davo because you will get punished. Uh, but you know. Fingers crossed for Chunter that he doesn't. This isn't so bad knocking, not knocking over this guy because it just means you can blitz him because obviously you're not really... Uh, wait, he hasn't blitzed? Okay. You haven't really got a good blitz on, right? You can maybe blitz this zombie, but you can't blitz, uh, obviously, the sidestepper or the stand firms very effectively. Get the ball up in the rain. Lovely. And, of course, the standard... Blitz into Fleshy so that you're not uh, engaged after knocking them over. Though you are engaged after double pushing, but now you can double you can double push him out there, and you could even fill here and chain him up completely, couldn't he? Which is exactly what he's doing. Hello, Chrissy B. Hello, Steve. No, oh, you couldn't beat him off because he's stand firm. Wait. Yeah, the buddy got stand firm, so he... <laughs> he had the idea. This is, We both had the same idea was to chain him up, and then we were both wrong. That's pretty funny. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty funny. We had the same idea, and we were both wrong. I guess he could have pushed him into there and then sidestepped to here or something. Oh, nice, nice chin by Chunter to get the 3D with Mighty Blow. I was able to attempt that versus Andy in the, in the math, but of course I will the one. How try maybe maybe try try is better. Man, if people keep re redeeming Battlebrom, I'm going to have to actually play Battle Brothers again. 
I want to. Like, I could easily just fucking play Battle Brothers all day, every day. But, uh, that seems not great. Blockless Blitz. And he gets a push. He's blitzing a throw, though. Weird, that wasn't it? You would have thought he would have blitzed with block. But, um, didn't. Nob's OP. Yes, indeed. He's got both throwers just because they're armor 8. Well, 9 plus these days. Because the linemen are terrible, yeah. The linemen are absolute unmitigated garbage players. So, <laughs> he's having to pay like 75k or whatever, whatever the hell they cost, just to have a slightly better lineman. Oh, nice removal. I wonder if he's just going to get forward and score early. That's probably not that bad an idea because it's really hard to stall against the against the uh, Necro. Honestly, he probably should have just gone into range this turn. At least have the choice, right? At least have the choice to score early. With a nice powers on the gap on the on the wraiths. Advantage Chunder really isn't it? He's made a removal. It's not a great situation, is it? Oh, in terms of uh, you know, surrounded by guard players and claw players. <laughs> so, and already we've got the removal there. Yes, I would have taken leader on a on a on a throw here. Yeah. Um, absolutely. That's a lovely lovely play, isn't it, to get the extra hit in. A blockless block. I wonder if uh oh no it's guards, we had it on. Fend! Fend! Nobs OP! Nob's OP! Yeah, Chunter with, went with stacking on the blitzers, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, I, would have, I would have taken an extra guard. I would have given guard to one of the throwers and given leader to the other one. Yes, yeah. Um, amazing, Christopher B. He doesn't get to follow up. What a time to be alive. Truly the most powerful skill ever seen on a blood ball pitch. Chunter with his three pluses, he loves them. Wow, greeting this. Now, but a greedy banger. <laughs> A, that was a bit of greedy bang there, wasn't it, from Dave? Pays off for the KO on the... Uh, I mean, he would have got the KO anyway. Interesting, isn't it? I tend to not re-roll things like that. So Chunt is just going to go in early and probably lose 2-1. Which, you know, as, uh, as knobs is basically a win. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is he too much shower soon? Fair enough. Fair enough. 
Yeah, me and Andy went with it, basically the same roster. Whereas Dying Reds came in a little bit different. Yeah, let's drop the DP, fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, the team is called Necro Training, so that makes all the sense. But here we go, so now uh, with the Necro receiving, of course, they should be able to tee off. And uh, this could end up very badly for the uh, knobs. Instant removal. This one is the fender, isn't it? So uh, the fender's getting hit by the wraiths. And that removal opens up the better angle for the uh, wolf hit. Doesn't get another hit from the wraith. Oh, that's so that if he pushed it, it wouldn't be in contact. Hmm. Not sure about that, like. Not sure about that, like. Uh, fair enough. Oh yeah, power apple, I didn't even know it's the power apple. Power apple. Hmm. Well. Not good is it, eight players for chunts standing. This is a strong line here, isn't it? Three guarders. Makes it very difficult for the walls to do much. Fend clutched. Clutch fend usage there really helps him out when he's KO'd instantly. So while this is kind of cool having this to control the walls a bit, it's not stopping him getting downfield, is it? And he's got to get moving. Not too many turns to score. Whose turn is it? I mean, it's Davo's turn, but God knows which turn it is, right? Don't know if it's turn five or turn six. Maybe it is turn six. Yeah, yeah. Now it's Chunter's turn seven. But it's not going to show us. Oh, foul appearance. So annoying foul appearance when it triggers. Yeah, he's just not getting in the way, is he? Oh, oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Where the fuck are you going, Chunter? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> That's insane. He doesn't even stop him. It doesn't even force him to use the blitz on him. <laughs> Why not at least tag him here? That's weird. Misclick, maybe. That's really. So, what he probably should have done here, Devo, is done this blitz, right? Do this blitz here, and then put him there. And then, like, so you've got the. Uh, You've got like the elongated T so you can't get surfed. Because as it is, he can just dodge in on a on a six and uphill him surfing, right? Which seeing as it's chunter, that's what he's gonna do. Whereas if he's just one square back, you just need to get a push here and then he's there. Okay, he's tagged, but he's still got dodge, right? So it's still not crazy to dodge it, to dodge away and then dodge in. Oh, was that quad skulls? No, no, it was it. Both down into dubs.
Irrelevant block first. Fair enough, right? Because this is low odds. So start off the relevant blocks in one in nine. And remove yourself. <laughs> I mean, that was the right thing to do. Max the blocks first. 2D him, 2D him, he comes along, 2D him, and then do, do 3 plus 6 plus uphill. The uh, kill's really mounting now. Doesn't do the no, he's already done the blitz. Like, what? What? Uh, no, they are full removals. Turns out they are full removals. Failed four out of five, and he failed two out of two before, so he's failed six out of seven KO rolls. So, um, yeah, that is what we call in the business GG. Uh, block zombie. Another removal. is back, instantly stunned. Can use his newly, uh, his new block, newly acquired block to blitz now. Pretty nice. It's gonna be a bit safer with the uh, ghoul and wraith. And <laughs> kills him, oh my god, it's over. So six players for Chunter. <laughs> six players and one of them is stunned. Amazing. Oh my god. Did he did he I oh, passed the fire. Nobs, nobs, nobs. Nobs definitely OP this game, aren't they? Well, he's got the dodge players through doing something. This would be a problem if he had more than six players, but oh my god. But I mean, it's easily solvable, isn't it? When, when you've got a full team. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, he comes in for that. Gets the pow. Look at dog. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, he's got sta he's got stand firm anyway, hasn't he? So I can't chain him off. So. Oh, blocks the ball. Okay. I would have blocked the white first. But never mind. This makes this one a bit crucial, doesn't it? This is the problem. That's like because you can't push him up, you can't push him away. So it would be better to block with this one first. Then if you power him, you can just drop him back. I think. And maybe here, so he's got the guard, so he can only up him. Got guard on the ball. This guy is going to dodge through. Oh my god, he's. I th <laughs> so I thought this guy would like go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, or something crazy. But he just goes straight through the middle. 
What was that like five, four, five? Something? No, four, four, five. That's not that bad, is it? It <laughs> gets double skulls. Oh yeah, four, four, five. Mm. Gets the ball. On a six! Hey! I thought he'd got the ball because it was a... Oh my god. Amazing. Yeah, he's got short hands, hasn't he? So I thought it was a five plus with a reroll. So I thought that was alright, but it was a six. <laughs> and this is all of a sudden a problem, isn't it? There's an actual problem now. Wow. Some dice rolls by chunts. I mean, they're not doing good. <laughs> They've got six players. <laughs> oh. Oh, so he's, he was blocking him to try and chain off the ghoul. And then was the ghoul going to blitz on two? And that isn't great odds either, is it? If the ghoul just blitzes in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I guess at the end try and dodge out the wolf as well. So one in nine for Chutner to win. Well, not win. Uh, score and fails. And now. Well, it's still not over. Don't say it's over. But, um... Oh, the Dauntless 1D before the dodge. They don't have Dauntless, do they? They lost Dauntless, they only have catch. And the, because the, the because the push isn't good, um, the dodge beat, and he's got dodge anyway, but even then, because the, if the push was good, maybe he should have uphilled. But uh, with a push not being good. <laughs> yeah. Man. He did well though, didn't he? He did well chunts with six players. Yeah, he's just blitzing him to get him kind of somewhere relevant so we can maybe hit the tackle on him later. Like if you can just get a 1D or even an uphill, with tackle he's got a chance hasn't he, whereas without tackle you know, your chances drastic go down. To quote Steiner Because this isn't actually that easy to get the touchdown still, is it? Oh no, he's got three more turns. It's, it's a little bit... I'm not sure that was the right blitz, honestly. Because, like... Okay, no. You, wow, wolves are fast, aren't they? Like, he really needs to get... He need, really needs to get forward, doesn't he? Like, very, very much needs to get forward with the support. To, um... Make sure... This ball's caged. Oh god, no one gone. I don't know why this guy's two back. He should have been one back, right? He's just obviously better one back. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, it was a good effort. Good effort by Chunter. Yeah. He had six players. If he'd got like three back and he was defending with nine or something. Maybe uh, maybe he could have held on for the 2-1 win. But with that stun, it's basically over, isn't it? I mean, it was basically over a long time ago, you know. Defending with six players. <laughs> when you've got six players at the start of your turn eight, I uh, really turn nine. That's, uh, that's not good. 
just needs to make an absolute web to stop anything getting through. And he just skips turn, that's fair enough. There's nothing for like, you know, Kaz or anything. There's no Kaz difference or anything possible, so... And of course, Devo's got a foul here because, you know, if he didn't foul him, he could three dice uphill, pow, and go four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, and uh, have a guy on the ball, and then, you know, maybe get the draw. So, like, you have to foul here. Disaster. Disaster for Chunter. Um, yeah, he's not going to even try that. Oh, no, I guess, yeah, he, he was maybe setting up for a... Uh, for a... Uh, like, riot, but you know, wasn't... Wasn't, uh, wasn't great, was it? Well, there you go, not bad. Not bad from Chunter. Made a good fight of it. But I mean, it's interesting because the first the first four turns were like kind of pretty close, and shouldn't have really just had to score because knobs were bad. But then the next four turns were ridiculous with all the KOs that never came back, and that was it. GG wasn't it with six, six players at the start of the half like incredible, incredible to roll the dice to get the sack and nearly, nearly get the two one. I wonder if there was more that Devo could have done to stop that. Maybe, right, maybe there was a square or two different he could have done to make out. I didn't really like the hitting of the ball carrier that turn. So, maybe there was something there, but who knows. Um, there you go, anyway. So, gratis to Devo, commiserations to Chunts. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.